Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Campus. So let us learn some more things about integration and then we will start the method of performing integration. Suppose the first thing is ddx of integration of a function f of x dx then it will be the function f of x. The function which we integrate is known as integrand okay here integrand is the function f of x okay so we can say differentiation of an integral is the integrand itself or differentiation and integration are inverse operation you can see so if differentiation of integration of f of x then the result will be f of x because differentiation and integration are inverse operation okay the second thing is k into f of x dx is equal to k f of x dx where k is a constant. So the integral product of a constant and a function is equal to the constant into the integral of the function. This is constant into the integral of a function. So the integral product of a constant and a function is equal to the constant and the integral of that function. The third thing is suppose f of x plus minus g of x dx is equal to integration of f of x dx plus integration of g of x dx. This means the integral of the sum or difference of finite number of function is equal to the sum or difference of the integral of the various function okay so we have used this property in the case of differentiation also so these two properties are same for differentiation and integration so let us learn the method of performing integration In the method of performing integration, basically you have to study two methods. The first method is method of integration, okay? Methods of integration. The first method is integration by substitution. And the second method is integration by parts. So in the gate syllabus basically we deal with these two methods of integration that is integration by substitution and integration by parts. So let us learn about integration by substitution. Okay. So let us take an example in order to learn the concept of integration by substitution. Suppose we have a function ax plus b in whole to the power n. Suppose we have to calculate the integration of a function ax plus b whole to the power n. If we substitute ax plus b by a function t. So here the variable is x so you have to consider dx so if you substitute this ax plus b with the help of another variable t then the function will be t to the power n and as the term is dx here as because this variable is x so here we have to use dt so if we differentiate this it will be dx into a and the function of constant will be 0 is equal to dt okay so it will be dx is equal to 1 by a into dt so we can replace the value of dx by this term so differentiating both sides we will get a into dx and this is a constant so this will give the differentiation result to 0 and this will be dt so if we take a in this side so the value of dx will be 1 by a dt so if we replace the value of dx by this term it will be 
1 by a dt now if we rearrange this if we take as 1 by a is constant so we can take this as because we have just learned the property that constant into a function is equal to constant into the integral of that function so it will be t to the power n dt and we have learned according to the formula of integration that integration of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so it will be t to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and into the constant 1 by a now if we replace the value of t by the actual value that is a x plus b so it will be 1 by a into in the place of t we have to write a x plus b whole to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so the answer is and we have to add a constant here in this case also so the, this is the answer of integration a x plus b whole to the power n dx that is 1 by a into a x plus b whole to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c so this is the method of integration by substitution so we have substitute this term by t and as the variable is x here so this is dx so in the case of t we have to use the variable dt so simply if we differentiate this we can get the term dt and if we rearrange this the value of dx will be 1 by a dt so we have put the value of dx here and as 1 by a is a constant so we have take it outside and we have applied this formula in this case and we have get the result so let us take one more example so suppose we have function integration of 4 x s q by 1 plus x to the power 4 into dx so if we want to integrate it in a general way then the process will be somehow lengthier so let us use the concept of integration by substitution so if we put the value of 1 plus x to the power 4 t if we replace the value of 1 plus x to the power 4 by t so you can see if we differentiate the term x to the power 4 you can get the term 4x cube because 1 is a constant so the differentiation of x to the power 4 is 4 x s cube so if we replace the denominator by t you can automatically get a term for the numerator so you have to replace the numerator on denominator such a way that the whole term can be in the term of t or the whole term came in the term of t okay so in this case you can easily observe that if you replace the denominator by t if you differentiate this the denominator you will get the term for the numerator so if we replace the value of 1 plus x to the power 4 by the term t and if we differentiate this side with respect to x and this side with respect to t it will be 4x s cube because the differentiation of a constant is 0 and it will be dt now if we replace the value of 1 by 1 plus x to the power 4 by t so it will be t and in the place of 4x q we can write dt so you can see automatically the term dx get arranged by putting the value of 1 plus x to the power 4 is equal to t and differentiating this term so you have to replace the value of numerator or denominator in such a way that the term dx is also get replaced by dt in this case you can see the term dx is get replaced by dt so we have already learned by the formula integration of 1 by a dx so integration of 1 by a dx is equal to log x plus c so if we apply this formula in this case so it will be log t plus c now if we replace the value of t by this so it will be log 1 plus x to the power 4 plus a constant c so this is the result of integration 4 x s q by 1 plus x to the power 4 dx so you can see 
by using the method integration by substitution we can easily solve the lengthier problem in very simple step the basic rule of integration by substitution is you have to substitute the term of the actual expression by some variable so that we can apply the direct formula of integration this is the main purpose of integration by substitution you have to substitute the term of actual equation by some variable so that we can apply the direct formula of integration here we have substitute the value of 1 plus x to the power 4 by t so you can see that if you differentiate the term 1 plus x to the power 4 the value of the numerator and the dx automatically get managed by the term dt so you have to substitute the given term in such a way that the term dx can also get managed by dt or some other variable by which you have replaced the term so you have to apply the method of substitution in order to apply the formula of integration so let us learn integration by parts and then we will solve some example from previous gate paper